Good morning, everyone. I'm Jane, and today I'll be presenting fascinating research conducted by the Universidad Nacional de Córdoba team on innovative biocompatible dressings for antimicrobial photodynamic therapy. This collaborative work spans multiple departments and addresses a critical healthcare challenge. Let's begin with the urgent problem at hand. The World Health Organization projects that by 2050, deaths from antibiotic-resistant bacteria will surpass cancer-related deaths. This crisis has spurred the development of alternative treatments, particularly antimicrobial photodynamic therapy, or APDT, which shows remarkable promise in various health fields. This research aims to develop a novel biomaterial that addresses the limitations of conventional antibiotic treatments. Specifically, the authors focused on creating wound dressings using nanofibrous membranes composed of gelatin and curcumin, produced through electrospinning. This combination leverages curcumin's natural photosensitizing properties with gelatin's biocompatibility. Our methodology centered on four key analyses. First, the electrospinning process to create the nanofibrous membranes. Then, comprehensive characterization through SEM analysis, water contact angle measurements, and crucial cytotoxicity testing to ensure safety and efficacy. The initial results were promising. Here you can see the macroscopic images of our electrospun membranes alongside UV-VIS spectroscopy results in DMF. The spectra between 300 and 500 nanometers confirmed the successful curcumin incorporation into the membrane structure. The water contact angle measurements revealed optimal wettability characteristics. As shown in these images, the membrane surfaces demonstrated properties ideal for wound dressing applications, indicating good potential for fluid management in wound care. Scanning electron microscope micrographs revealed impressive structural consistency. The membranes showed smooth surfaces with homogeneous fiber distribution. Statistical analysis demonstrated significant differences in fiber diameter between non-cross-linked and cross-linked membranes. Critical to our research was the cell viability testing. Using the Vero cell line, we tested various extract concentrations from 25% to 100%. Importantly, cell viability remained above 70% in all cases, meeting ISO 993 standards and confirming the membrane's biocompatibility. Our research successfully developed and characterized gelatin curcumin membranes for APDT applications. The membranes demonstrated ideal characteristics homogeneous fiber distribution, appropriate wettability for wound dressing, and confirmed cytocompatibility. These results strongly support their potential use in antimicrobial photodynamic therapy. This work was made possible through support from Conocet, Sekit, UNC, and Fonsit. I'd like to thank our collaborators and funding agencies for their invaluable support. The references can be consulted in the abstract.